Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're going to work on the cherry pie and this is a really kind of a cool idea and this is a pot holder and there's a set of three of them and today is only going to be the cherry pie. So without further ado you're going to need your Lily Sugar and Cream. It is 100% cotton for anything with heat uh, and water and all of that jazz when it comes to the kitchen you need to concentrate on your cotton yarn only. Anything acrylic or any other kind of blends may have a possibility of melting which is almost a guarantee. So so without further ado you're going to need a four millimeter size G crochet hook today. So the pie filling and the crest are two different things and what's happened here is that the uh, the pie filling is in behind and the crust then is in the front. So really from the back side you'll be able to see the, the cherry filling if it's turned around but from the top you can see the holes are, are through like a pie. So we're gonna do the filling first and then we're gonna do the pie crust later. So let's begin now. So using your red what you want to do is create a slip knot to begin and you want to insert your hook in. And we're going to chain two and that'll be the beginning of your round. So just one and two. Remember the first one on the hook never counts as one. So now what you're going to do is in the first chain you want to put six single crochets into the first one. So just coming back to the first one and you want to put six single crochet there. So one and then keep doing it two and three. You're gonna be bearing over top of these loose, the loose end. This is gonna be four, five and six just like that. And then now that you got six and you can count it back on your hook as well. So one, two, three, four, five and six. Go into the sixth one back from the hook or if you can identify the first one and just pull it through with the slip stitch just like that and you have a perfect circle for your beginning of your pie. So let's uh, move on to round number two. So round number two we're gonna chain up one and then each stitch around is gonna get two single crochets into each. So one and two. Okay, so move to the next one. So one and two and do that all the way around for round number two. When you get all the way around you will think the last one is a stitch. It's not. It's part of the first one. So don't mistake that and just count back and you should find that there's six groups of two if you're confused at any point. So just going back and just going to the top of the first one that you started with and with the slip stitch and you will bring that to conclusion. So let's move on to round number three. You're gonna chain up one and in the same one that you did the join you're gonna put in two single crochets. So one and two. So here's the repeat pattern for this complete round. The next one is gonna be one single crochet by itself and then the next one will have two. So one and two into the same one and then the next one is one by itself and then the next one will have two. So please do that all the way for round number three. So I'm coming up to the end of round number three and the last one is just one single crochet by itself and that just happens to be the, how the math works out so don't, it's nothing special and you're going to join it then with the beginning single crochet that you started with and that was round number three. So we're getting a little bit bigger. So let's move on to round number four. Chain up one and this time there will be two single crochets into the first one, the one where you did the join with and then in this one there's gonna be one single crochet in the next two stitches. So the one and two and here's the repeat pattern for this round. So the next one's gonna have two single crochets into the same one and then the next two are gonna be one single crochet by itself. Please do that all the way around for round number four. Finishing up round number four, the final two are one single crochet by itself and I'm just keeping in count with the math so it's nothing special and just join it to the first single crochet. So let's move along to round number five. Chain up two, sorry chain up one I apologize and one, uh, two single crochets into the same one. So one and two and this time in round number five the next three are gonna be by itself. So we're just moving along. So one, two and three just all by themselves and then here's the repeat pattern. The next one will have two so one and two and then the next three are by themselves. So one, two and three and please do that all the way around for round number five. Coming up to the end of round number five the three were by themselves in the end and then you just join it to the first single crochet with the slip stitch to finish off round number five. So let's begin round number six together. Chain up one and two single crochets into the first one. So one and two and in round number six then the next four are by themselves. So one, two, 
three and four and then the next two are together. So the next two are into the same one. Okay, so there's four by themselves and two into the same one. So the repeat pattern is the next four by themselves. So one, two, three, and four, and then the next one has two. So please do all that for round number six. Finishing up round number six, it was four single crochets that were in the end and then you just join it to the first single crochet. So that was round number six. So let's start round number seven. Chain up one, two single crochets in the first one. It's the same one as the last slip stitch and then the next five are by themselves. So you're seeing the pattern. So let's do five. So one, two, three, four, and five and then the next uh, two are into the same one. So one and two. Please do that for round number seven. Finishing up round number seven, there was five by itself in the end and then you just join it to the top of the beginning or to the beginning single crochet. So let's move along to round number eight. Chain up one, two single crochets in the first one of the slip stitch that you did and now this time there's going to be six in a row that are by themselves. So let's do that. So one, two, three, four, five, and six and then the next two or the next one has two in them. So it's one and two. So the repeat pattern is six in a row then two, six in a row and then two. Do that for round number eight please. So this is the end of round number eight. Just join it to the beginning single or single crochet that you had started with. Okay let's begin row or round number nine. Chain up one and two single crochets into the first one as always. One, and two and then the next seven are going to be by themselves. So just one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven and then the next uh, two are into the same one. So one and two. So the repeat pattern is seven in a row and then two. Please do that for round number nine. So coming up all the way to round number nine and last round to go. That's how fast this one is and uh, this is the pie filling of course. We're gonna chain up one and it's two into this first one as always and then there's gonna be eight in a row by itself. You already know how to do that. So there's gonna be eight and then two, eight and two. Please do that all the way around for this round and then we're gonna fasten off at the end of this round and get ready to do the pie crust on top. So it's eight in a row and then two. So I'm finishing up round number 10. It was the last one and I join it to the first single crochet that I started with and that's it. The pie filling is now done and I'm just going to trim off my yarn now and I'm gonna weave in my ends and that's it. So we're gonna move on to the crest next and this the crest goes over top and this pie filling not only provides the peekaboo for the actual uh, filling that goes through the crest but it's also double protection then uh, because it will make two layers of this uh, material to come between you and a hot surface. So let's uh, keep moving along and let's start doing the crest next. So let's start working on the crest and I'm using jute color and I'm gonna create a slip knot to begin using the same size hook and I want to chain a total of four. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, and four and let's start off round number one. So in the fourth chain from the hook, so right where I'm pinching the very first chain, that's where we're gonna play with this the whole round. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna do one double crochet and we'll just watch what we do. So we're gonna do one double crochet in the first chain way back down here. Pull through and do that as a double crochet and then I want you to chain one and then I want you to double crochet two times into there. And we have to do that a total of five times in a row and that will give you six double crochets that sit side by side. Okay, so that's two double crochets. So we did the chain, okay, and then we came in and did a double crochet followed by a chain one and then two double crochets. So to carry on we're gonna chain one and into the same one right down here at the base you're gonna put two more double crochets in. So that what you're looking for is a total of six of these groups of two double crochets side by side. So now you're actually halfway around at this point. Okay, so if I pull it apart, so you see two, two, and two. So chain one, 
and two more double crochets. So one and two followed by chain one and then keep on doing that. So one and two. Okay, chain one and then I'm gonna do it one more time. So I got one group of two, two, three, four, five. Should be a total of six. Just like that and then to finish that round off chain one and slip stitch to the top of the first chain three that you had started with like so. Okay and that's the middle of your crest area. So let's move along to round number two. So let's move along to round number two. We're gonna slip stitch until we get to the first chain one space right here right where I'm pinching. So just coming across and just slip stitch across this, the tops of these double crochets just to make your way there and slip stitch right into that chain one space to begin. And that's where we're gonna start from this one. So we're going to start up and we're gonna chain three which counts as a double crochet. So one, two and three and I, I want you to put two more double crochets into that same space. So one and two just like that. Okay and now and then I want you to chain one and then we're going to then move across and then we're gonna go to the next space right here. So the next space what we're gonna do then is that we're gonna put in three double crochets into that next one. Okay so one two and three. Okay followed by a chain one just like that. And so we need just to completely go around. So go to the next chain one space and double crochet three times. So one, two and three. Okay followed by a chain one and then completely jump to the next space that's available to you. So please do that all the way around for round number two. So once you get all the way around you're just gonna finish off with a chain one and then just join it to the beginning chain three that you had started with. So that's what it would look like right at this particular stage. So let's move along to round number three and we're gonna slip stitch to the first chain one space over here and just move across the tops again just into the stitches as slip stitches just to move across and slip stitch right into that chain one space and then we're going to begin round number three. So round number three is really quite straightforward. We're gonna chain up three which counts as a double crochet and then you're going to double crochet two more times back into that same space. So one and two and but this time what we're not gonna do is that we're not gonna jump to the space right away. We're gonna chain one and we're gonna do three double crochets back into that same space once again. Okay so we're just getting bigger and make sure that our pie crust stays flat. That's how you do it and then you just get three double crochets in there and now what I want you to do is just um, chain one and then just jump now to this next space right here. So in these spaces there's always gonna be three double crochet just like that followed by a chain one and then back into that same space again for three more double crochets. So you're actually essentially creating a hexagon shape for this particular idea. Okay so then chain up one and then move to the next one right so. So please do that all the way around for round number three. So I'm just coming up all the way back around. Make sure I chain one first before joining it to the first single crochet or first chain three. So it's gonna look very much like a hexagon shape at this moment. So let's move along to round number four and in round number four we're going to slip stitch again to the first chain one space. So just keep on going across the tops, slip stitch over and get right into that next space. Okay so here we are. So in round number four we're going to then chain up three. So one, two and three and then we're going to come into the same one and we're gonna double crochet two more times just like that and then chain one just like that and then what we're going to do is that we're just gonna keep moving across and around the outside. So let me just uh, move on in just a second. So we're just gonna immediately just jump to this next one over here and double crochet three times. So one, two and three followed by a chain one and then just jump to the next space. Again three double crochets. So that's all you're gonna do for this round. Round number four is just each section is gonna have three double crochets followed by a chain one. 
So just keep moving around and I'll see you at the end of this round in just a moment. So once you get to the end make sure you chain one first and then you just join it to the beginning chain or chain three that you started with. So this is what it looks like at this point. So what we're gonna do now is just move on to round number five and in round number five this is the final round before we bring back the pie filling to cover in. So we're gonna slip stitch again across the tops just like this and then come right into the space and I want you to chain up one and we're gonna put two single crochets right into this very chain two space. So one and two and now we're just gonna move across the tops of the double crochets and just put in one single crochet each. So one, two and three and then each one chain one, uh, one space is gonna get two single crochets into that. Okay? So then you're gonna do that all the way around. So in the tops of these double crochets just one single, one, two and three and then in the spaces there's gonna be two. Please do that all the way around for round number five. So as you come all the way back around then you just do that very last one that you had. So one, two and three and then just join it to the first single crochet that you had started with and now you're good to go. So what we're going to do is you're gonna grab back your pie filling and this is the right side facing up and this is the right side facing up of the crust and now we're gonna put these together. Let me back out the camera and show you what to do. So what we're going to do is that you're going to chain up one on the crust and then you're gonna go into the very first stitch as you normally would but you can just grab any stitch just to begin and the pie crust this is the right side facing up. This is the right side of the filling facing up and you're just gonna go right through one of the pie crust or one of the pie fillings on the outside and just finish that off and do a single crochet. So now that the first one is attached just move along on your crust, move along on the pie filling and single crochet and you just wanna apply one single crochet into each using going through both of the thicknesses at the same time and this will permanently put the back edge or the back uh, filling with this together and it creates the illusion that there is a pie filling then in the front side. So please do that uh, one single crochet into each going through both thicknesses for round number six. So I'm just coming up all the way back around I'm in the last stitch just join it then and I filled in all of the, the filling in behind and it's all completely done. So every stitch matched each other. So this is what it looks like on the back and you can see this is the look on the front. <laughs> really it's kind of cute. Okay so let's move along and round number seven we're gonna chain up one and in the crust only is that we're gonna do back loops only. So let's uh, begin and in the next three and just go into the back loops so if you're new to crochet there's two loops that make up one stitch. If you go into the front loop that's the front loop and if you go into the other loop in the back it's a back loop. So continuing in the, just go into the back loop only and I want you to do one single crochet into that one plus two more of its friends so three in a row and then the next one is gonna be two into the same one. So one and two. Okay, so that's the repeat pattern for this round. So three in a row by itself into the back loop. So one, two and three and then the next one is gonna be two into the same one. Please do that all the way around for round number seven. So I'm coming up to the end of round number seven. In the last stitch here there should be two single crochets into that one. I'm just keeping the stitch counts so I've done nothing special in order to make that happen. So that's what it looks like so far. We have one more round to do and then there's a hanging loop for this and uh, it's actually really really neat. So let's move along to round number eight. So let's begin round number eight. It's looking pretty cool. So what we're gonna do then in round number eight is that we're gonna skip the first three single crochets. So we're not gonna chain up one. So we're gonna go one, two and three. Go to the fourth just right there and I want you to put in five double crochets. So one, two, three, four and five. Now it says skip the next two single crochets so one and two and I want you to slip stitch into the next. Just like that. And then it says skip the next two and then put in five half uh, double crochets into the next one after that. So in the third one away put in the next five. So one, two, three, four, and five and then skip two, one and two, slip stitch into the third one away, 
skip two, one and two and then put in another five. So please do that all the way around for round number eight. So I'm coming up all the way around on round number eight and I'm just finishing this last scallop area and I just join it to the first slip stitch that I started with. Now here's the thing. My house is in particular is that I don't hang anything from money walls for behind my counters because the fact is we don't have anything like that in our house. So what I you can do is that you can either stop here and if you just want the, it to be here and it's a pot holder and uh, you can use this as a hot pad as well because it is double layered just like you see here then it's just really quite a, easy to use. But if you'd like a handle on it let's show you how to do that. So right where you are right now you want to chain 15. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So then take that and then go to where you have the slip stitch already and just pull through and through. Okay. So now what you want to do is working across that chain right back again. So just go across the chain and single crochet yourself back across that chain. Okay, so all the way back and what that will do is it will thicken it up for you so that you have a nice solid hanging loop for when you're going to hang it maybe in your counter or maybe into the walls of your of your kitchen backsplash. It's up to you uh, what you like to do with it and either way it's a good thing. Um, I think these are really quite cute. Uh, Yarn Inspirations did a really super good job with these things. They're really, they make me smile when I look at them and this is the first time I've kind of ever doing anything like this. So I kind of have the added interest of doing something new outside of my, my regular crochet projects that I do and uh, it's been a lot of fun. So I'm just working my way across that chain to create that big loop and coming back in all the way to right where I'd started and I slip stitch in and then this loose end then I can trim this and then this is my loop that it would be at the top of the of the pie. So then you just fasten that off and just weave in your ends and uh, with the darning needle get rid of that and if you don't want anything like that you can just kind of pull it out and just uh, fasten off here and then you therefore you kind of have a hot pad without a handle but that's completely up to you. Your creativity do what works for you. This works for me better and that's just kind of what I prefer. So I'm going to use a darn needle, needle weave in my ends and that's it for now. So until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of Yarn Inspirations as well as the crochet crowd.com. We'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.